Okay, so what I'm going to show you today is a, a method uh, for correcting a basically a back bow where you're, uh, you have a big problem with the truss rod is now at zero and it's not a two way, it's a single way and you have a problem uh, adjusting your neck because the back bow of course uh, can be caused by heat or even clamping with too much weight from the clamps. So we're going to use um, a cheap a nasty guitar that's wrecked. I think we call this the Frankenstein because somebody put a bolt in the neck here. <laughs> so uh, we're going to use this just to demonstrate the, um, the, the 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 technique for doing it. I'm not even going to bother opening the um, the truss rod. I'll just leave it as it because I'm only going to do it for a few seconds, so it won't matter. So the idea is we have a little block here. It's higher than this block here, and this block here. Um, I'm using a piece of heavy duty rosewood, but you can use any wood that's heavy and strong. Even a bit of bendy wood wouldn't matter that much. And we're going to put this on top. So I put the big block on, it's about a centimeter high, this is about six mil high, this is about six mil high. So here we have um, your biggest one on the seventh fret. And I just laid the clamp here, or the, the block there. It's obviously not it's too high, so it's affecting everything. So, we get the first one, and we use this little call here. And, oops, we have a, a jammed, a jammed, I never saw this before. Anyway, something obviously spilled on it, and it's a... Uh, it's a good idea too when you have clamps like this to um, oil them on a regular basis. So I have no idea what that much sticky. So something spilt on it. So I just clamped that uh, there. And I, as you see, I've used a, a call. We're on the seven fret, right? So really difficult to operate when the clamp isn't working properly. Anyway, that's it. Okay. Now, the next one, we have another call. You see I've already lined it with um, cork. And we put this one on the top. And quick way to open them, <laughs> like that when you're in a hurry. Right down to the end, nearly. And so we get that up to there. Now I leave that there and uh, this one obviously is not going to go the full width of that so I get another one. Now check that one and I put a piece of protection here so that the guitar does not collapse all over the place. So we can pull that down. Uh, this has moved on me, so I'm not going to get it down too far. So I'll just pull it down a bit because as I put pressure on here, this one has already made a nice banana bend, which is what we want to achieve. And if you leave that overnight, uh, for sure it'll engage the truss rod. Now don't forget to to uh, open out the truss rod when you're doing this job so that um, you don't strain your rod. Now that should um, bend enough. If you want to use a bit of a heat lamp you can use some uh, infrared lamp and uh, it will help soften the glue between the fingerboard and the and the neck. So that's a, a trick for um, getting your tr truss rod to work again after the back bow. And uh, so that's it for now.